we're here in the 8360s garage in Petoni, and the company is now seven years old. We've moved around different spaces, but this started off with an idea of building an awesome piece of technology, and if nothing else, what we've shown is that you can start in a leaky garage in the hut with no money and not really a clue what you're doing, and end up standing on the world stage with a piece of technology that no one has ever seen before. Behind me, this is Nova. Nova is a virtual vehicle. It's a motion simulator platform that fully immerses you in another place. And it has all of that motion to make it feel like you're really there. So if you're driving a truck or flying a plane or practicing doing dangerous things, it, the experience is like actually being there, which means that you can learn those skills and, and develop that capability without needing the real situation. So we have two major market focuses at this point. The biggest one is the defense sector because they have a lot of big heavy equipment and do a lot of interesting and unusual things with it. And a, and a lot of that's dangerous and they need to practice but it's hard to recreate that in real life. And so we enable them to de develop those skills and deliver the training when they need it, where they need it. We're also working with universities because Nova is an enabling technology. It can be any vehicle and so it has all kinds of applications that we're not really even aware of yet. And so being able to have the universities do projects to explore the art of the possible and to show the different applications that it could be put into is, is really valuable for us because we don't know. It could be anything. You've had some talks with NASA about how they might use NOVA. Can you talk a bit about the kinds of things they might want to do with it? Yeah, we, we have talked to NASA about a number of different projects. Uh, looking like a spaceship isn't enough. You can actually turn it into a spaceship. And so, you know, there's, there's a number of different applications from mission rehearsal and practicing actually operating, you know, lander vehicles to um, training and recreating the experience of, say, driving a Mars rover. Uh, the Mars Desert Research Station in Utah where they simulate the experience and kind of explore what the problems are and, and what happens when you put people on Mars in the desert somewhere. Being able to try different, you know, Mars ground services, Mars rover driving around and being able to give people that experience. Uh, we've also talked about, you know, they do a lot of research into um, biology and, and the effects of space travel on the human body. And so there are experiments, because NOVA has unique capabilities, there are experiments that they can do using our technology to, ex to explore what happens when you go to space and hopefully find out that it doesn't break you. And there must be some fun, non-serious applications for NOVA as well. Oh yes. So we, we do the flight simulator and, and it's important to practice flying a plane and, and landing, but also we can network them together and do dogfighting. Uh, we've had job interviews where we said, shoot down the other person and <laughs> show how good you are. One of the awesome capabilities of our product is that we can run off-the-shelf content, so we can go and download Star Wars Squadrons off Steam and run that, and we have, and it was awesome. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. To stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald, click the subscribe button below, or check out one of the videos here. And head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.